In this video, I'm going to look at why a Shamrops humilis has, uh, may have spotting on its leaves. And also, of course, what you can do to sort the problem. Firstly, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. This video is aimed at inexperienced growers. So if you are an experienced grower, you've got to ask yourself why you're still watching. Uh, and I know the answer to that is because you want to make sure that I'm telling people the right answer. I'll see if I can edit that so that goes in. So here I've got a Shamrops humilis. It's actually a Volcano. Um, so it's a really compact um, Shamrops. And I'm, I'm led to believe they're less prone to spotting than a standard Shamrops humilis. But this one in particular seems to, to be quite badly affected. So what I mean is the leaves show these signs of, of discolour and this one's yellowing. I mean, that, that is a bit unusual because it's not one of the older leaves. So um, there is some sort of deficiency here or um, uh, a problem. And I'll explain what that is shortly. But it's a very compact, uh, as I mentioned, um, palm. There's, you know, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess, but there's loads and loads of leaves in there. It's not like a palm, which just has a few leaves like a Trachycarpus, for example, I know this one's got many leaves on it, but a younger Trachycarpus would just have maybe 10 or 15 leaves. Whereas Shamrocks would have probably five times that amount. They are, I've estimated, I said I wouldn't, but I did. Gotta be really careful not to step in over the small paddling pool. That's the pre-paddling pool to wash your, wash your feet before you go in the main paddling pool. Gotta be really careful not to fall into either. I've just spotted a weed, so apologies for that. I shall sort that out immediately. Luckily these weeds, I don't know what they're called, but they uh, pull out so easy. Shake that off and pop that in the compost bin. That's better. But in this case where it's clear spotting and it's shamrops, which is really prone to spotting, we know that this is a virus. So this has got a viral infection. I'm really sorry, I mean um, fungal infection. It's a fungus, not a virus. It's got a fungal infection. And the best thing to do is to cut this leaf off right back uh, close to the trunk, not, not too close, but um, realistically pretty close to the trunk. And that will, you know, sort out the, um, the palm so it will look a lot nicer and prevents the, um, the virus from, from spreading as well. Here I'm simply cutting the leaves as close to the trunk as I can, being very careful of course to avoid the spiny leaves, or leaf uh, spines on the leaflets I should say. These are pretty vicious and I'm not wearing gloves, I probably should be. Um, some, some people would even wear eyewear, I know it seems a bit um, 2024 I suppose and health and safety gone mad. but. It's probably a good idea. So um, I've actually ended up in hospital before with a palm tree leaf um, piercing my eyeball. And that is as painful as it sounds, I can assure you. So I'm just going around um, tidying it up. And you've got to be really quite ruthless. If you're going to do this, then you haven't just got one or two leaves that need to be removed. You're going to have spotting on you know, quite a few of them. In this case, probably around half the leaves. 
I may not take them all off, but I just want to take, you know, certainly the worst off and try and make it so that you're taking a similar amount off all the way around. The other thing to note, of course, is that you are using secateurs to touch a diseased plant and you therefore need to um, disinfect the secateurs or whatever you're using once uh, you've finished with that plant. I wouldn't even do this plant and then move on to another one. Now that's quite the haircut that I've given that. And it's sometimes difficult to maintain a symmetrical look. You can see as I'm going around, it looks quite full from this side. Quite empty on this side. And in between it's a bit sort of misbalanced, I would say. Um, the overall look there. Have a little weed growing now. Didn't get it. There we go. And quite a collection of leaves here on the floor. So that's got rid of most of the spotting. You can go and cut every single spotted leaf off if you like, if you prefer that look. It'll be much barer, um, but much cleaner as well. So it depends what, what you like. I find it a bit sad to cut off leaves that are so green, like that one only had a few bits. Um, and the green leaves are still providing it with nutrients. Allowing it to photosynthesize. But it's entirely up to you. And then the last thing that I will do to this plant, in fact, I won't do it now because I did it yesterday, is spray a systemic fungicide solution all over the plant, all over the leaves. And that um, helps to prevent it from spotting in the first place, but also helps prevent the, the spotting from getting any worse, I believe. Now it's best to do that on a clear day. Nice dry day with no rain forecast. Um, best time of year is probably late winter. Um, or just after a any any period prolonged period of rain and and cold as well it doesn't even have to be that cold this is only spotted you know gone taken that appearance quite recently it's july at the moment in fact it's august in a couple of days and it's the cool damp june and most of july that we've had which has caused it to spot so if you are going to spray it with a uh, systemic fungicide, then um, I would do, um, but I would do it um, definitely during a dry spell. And ideally, as I say, um, after it's been um, a, a cold, damp period. So there we have it. Have it. Um, I hope this helps people. Uh, the main thing is not to panic. Your, your palm isn't dying. There's nothing... Um, you know, that's going to kill it or, or really let it suffer. The main thing is to um, fix the problem uh, by removing the leaves and treating it with a systemic fungicide if you can. Plenty of people don't and they're still absolutely fine. Um, so it's just, just an optional extra if you'd like to provide an extra level of care. Thanks very much for watching, if indeed you still are.